Well, this is awkward. Up Woody Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Kurigane no Valhallian chapter 31. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because of course this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. And I'm just on a non-stop high speed struggle train heading into chaos and mm, getting faster by the second we're talking panic attack, migraine induced to have as we levels of struggle up and yeah, seriously, I'm struggling to keep a roof over my head. It is that bad. But, but. But, if you love what we're doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kicking, feel free to hit up my Cash App and PayPal. Those links are in the description box below. So, oh man, last chapter we found out what the fuck was going on that, uh, with Kara. That Kara was a fugitive, and I was happy to see it. Very happy to see it. Because we've been wondering this entire time what the fuck was up with Kara and the fact that she was a Valkyrie gone rogue makes me happy thank freaking gods for that and to see her ass get that Karmapolitan was amazing and unlike in Jujika no Rokinen, we got to see limbs fly yes I am still salty about the censorship going on that is some bullshit Oh. But anyways, we got a little bit of a Akko turtle, Akko taco situation going on up in here because um, the person that uh, did this beheading and um, chopping up in here is none other than Takemaru, the son that Tetsu was fighting to get back to. So this going to be very interesting to see what direction we're going to be going um, from here as well. But the other thing I have to mention is right before we got the reveal was when um, Tetsu was talking about what a samurai is. And you saw all the warriors there just feel inspired. And they were coming together to defend Spartacus as well. I love the broship between Tetsu and Spartacus. That broship is everything. Anyways, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. Mother, please don't worry. Father is far more skilled, but I finally become able to use the bow. I will definitely inherit the mantle of uh, Soma Ryu and protect our clan. Memories of days gone by. Takimaru, it's time to say goodbye to your mom. Father. Ooh, here it is. Here's the reunion, and this chapter is titled Father and Son. It's just the two of us from now on, isn't it? Without realizing they, uh, without realizing they have walked different paths. Oh my God! To this reaction, like Sakamaru is just like all stoic, and Tetsu's just like, "What the actual fuck? Like, what happened? What caused this? What led to this? What led to Takamaru up to he um, up to Valhalla? Actually, led him to Valhalla, and Tetsu." didn't get there like Tetsu was stuck here if that's the that's the mystery that look of yours I don't know how but is it really you talking tomorrow it is isn't it um it's me your papa don't you recognize me Takamaru? what's going on the man who killed Kara is Somakun's son the son that Tetsu said he left behind. I can't believe he was in Valhalla too. But how? His spirit was nowhere to be found. Won't you say something, Takamaru? Please do, do not refer to me by that dead name. <gasps> what? I was summoned to Valhalla after a natural disaster struck the um, Ujidoa that night. That was over ten years ago from when you showed up in front of me today. What? I fought with reckless abandon in Valhalla until I was finally acknowledged by the gods. I am the sole administrator, Chromask. Whoa, what? Here's Valhalla, though, from what we see so far. It is beautiful. 
Oh, we got the closet, everything. And Takemaru looks boss up in here. If you plan to stand in my way, what the hell are you talking about, Takemaru? Um, all this time I've been fighting in order to get back at, uh, to you in the real world. You may look different, but you're still Takemaru, my son. Come with your papa and let's go back. Back to our home. <laughs> oh my god, he's laughing at him. How ridiculous. <laughs> How ridiculous. You show up now of all times trying to act like a father? You don't know a damn thing. Judy doesn't know a damn thing. What the fuck do you want from him? Tuck it. Not a single step further, please. What the fuck do you want from him, you stupid little shit? Go back home? This is where I belong, here in Valhalla. Dude, this fucking art is everything. I'm trying to think what this reminds me of, because I feel like I've seen a similar plot point. I do. Where have I seen this? God damn it, I can't remember where I've seen this before. Shit. It's really pissing me off that I can't remember. Now I remember, it's Saint Seiya, that's what I was thinking of. This is kind of giving me, um, when Shun was possessed, it kind of gives me Shun when he was possessed by Hades, but it's also kind of giving me Iki in a little bit of a way as well. And, but it's really also giving me, um, uh, Saint Seiya, uh, Saint Tia show. When, you know, the, um, St. Tia's that were fighting, um, what, um, uh, oh my god, the, um, shit, I can't remember, the Druids, they that's it, what they are, the Druids, and they, and Iris, like, when Iris turned their loved ones into Druids, that's what it's making me think of, that's exactly what it's make, reminding me of, ha, knew it! <laughs> It was driving me nuts. I knew it was making me think of something. It that I think it was Saint Seiya that it was really making me think of. I'm trying to remember if it was making me think of something else. But I know it, Saint Seiya is definitely one of them. I'm trying to think if there's any other ones in particular that it's um it's making me think of. I think that's it off the top of my head. Yeah, I think that's the only one off the top of my head I could think of. Yeah, you can make the argument off of uh, about jobless reincarnation as well, sure. But yeah, Saint Seiya is definitely it's definitely the one that really comes to mind. Anyway, let's keep going here. Takemaru, what happened to you? Just what kind of path did you have to walk? Well, it was a hard one, obviously. That's quite enough. I heard your little story, person from above. Don't you think it's time about time you withdrew? I imagine it'll be quite the task for even you to face the entire remnants of Kara's forces. You son of a, how dare you to our goddess? Um... Kansi Taken, I didn't expect to see you in these lowest la uh, of layers, me lord. Hmm. Well, it's of no matter to me. I've carried out the execution of the fugitive Kara. I'll just save the rest of my prey for later. I can always hunt you down any time I want. Wait! Uh, do not fall him, youngster. Karasama, allow me to give you people the lowest layer a word of warning. Do not come above. The upper layers are teeming with warriors as strong as I. Even... <gasps> this art is incredible. Now I remember the other series it's making me think of. It's kind of making me think of Berserk in a way. You know who I'm talking about in particular. I'm referring to Griffith. Yes. It's making me think of that, too. It just hit, it just hit me. I think it's because um, w one of the uh, um, warriors here in this panel looks <laughs> cuts. I think that's why. Even more great heroes in the army of um, precursors. The uh, Wait, right? Yeah. 
The weak will instantly be torn to shreds and left as nothing but wandering spirits. This panel is everything. Matsubara, you give me life with this panel. But yeah, <laughs> it took me a minute to think of Berserk. I think it's because, again, it's because that the top part of that panel made me think of Guts. Yes. Army of the uh, Precursors? Hmm. Wait. Oi! Please wait, Takamaru! Goodbye, father. Ooh. <gasps> this is everything. Oh my god. Matsubara, why are you spoiling us like this? You know what? I gotta mention this as well. Because something that Matsubara was tweeting about is that uh, something that he does is for um, for his uh, for the art of this manga, what he does is he has a little stone statue. or I shouldn't say stone. But he has little statue, like figurines um, of like samurai and shit. And he also... Um, was saying that he was going to go buy more, you know, replica weapons. Um, because he said that in order for him to get, you know, the accuracy right, he can't look at a book. Well, he can look, reference a book all he wants, but in order for it to get it right, he has to feel the weapon in his hand and, like, you know, see it in person and actually use it to really understand it and to, to draw it accurately. And you know what? I can see it. Like, I can see why the armor looks so good. I can see how, why the armor looks so accurate, why it looks so detailed, why the movement is so fluid. It just makes a lot of sense. Um, the feathers look fantastic. The feathers look so much better. Oh my God. They look so detailed. The hair looks great. Oh my God. It looks so good. The limbs. Okay. I have to bring again. I have to bring this up. Jujiga no Rokinen, you censored freaking, um, oh my god, Kakaru's, when he, Kakaru's leg got cut off. You friggin' censored it. Why? Why was it censored when we are seeing limbs get cut off here? Ah! I know this is Shueisha and Jujiga no Rokinen is in Kadansha, but usually Kadansha is, doesn't give a fuck. Or, you know, where Jujiga no Rokinen is published in Kadansha, of all places. And the magazines that Jujika no is is, uh, um, is serialized in, they usually don't give a fuck. If you've seen Kadansha's, the series that Kadansha um, serializes, you you know they are a lot more lenient. So when you see that Kakaru's leg that was chopped off by a chainsaw was censored and then see this. You understand why I'm mad. Like, this is fucking amazing. We got the bone. Oh, you gave us the bones. You gave us the blood. You gave us the bones. Oh my God, this is everything. And we got blood. Oh my God. Matsubara, you spoil me. You spoil me. Takemaru! And once again, farewell. Oh, God, I know we got a break. I wonder if the break has something to do with um, Matsubara getting them weapons. But, God damn. Oh, Matsubara, you spoil us so much. <laughs> but again, I, I have to point out, put this out. Why are you censoring us? Why did you censor Chichika no Rokinen? Why? This makes me mad. Oh, God. It makes me mad at Chichika no Rokinen. It really does. The only reason I could think of is maybe it was brutal as hell, like, in terms of the cut. But even then, like, I, I think this manga has had some brutal, like, um, slices in terms of, like, deca not maybe not decapitations, but, like, Cut in, cuts in half. We've seen, um, we've seen brains. We've seen guts. We've seen like people, um, you know, warriors getting their innards eaten out. But like, those aren't censored. In, um, those aren't censored at all. 
Matsubara, please, please make sure your your violence and your anything that happens in here that is violent and it involves torture, please make sure it is not censored. It will make me happy. <laughs> but God, the God, the detailing in this armor is beautiful. God. I'm telling you right now, seeing how, seeing what inspires Matsubara, or like his, the you know, the models and shit that Matsubara uses, it really makes me appreciate this art even more than I already do. But the only thing I'm gonna say that I feel like needs a little bit more improvement is the hair. The hair could use just a wee bit more line work. But other than that, especially like on the sides, oh god, it's so, so stiff. The hair is stiff on the sides. Because it looks like two like strings like this instead of like having it flow a lot better. I just, I just kind of, I wish it, I wish it had like a little bit more line work so it gave, gave it a little bit more texture. But um, in terms of the limbs um, that are being amputated, I, God, it looks so good. It does. I think, like, the only reason why I'm not getting, I'm not being as stingy about it here is because of the genre of art that is, be arts, you know, the art style that's being used. And also, um, it's in motion as well. So that's the other reason why I'm not being as stingy nitpicky but god i wish there was a background uh, i'm trying to think if i want a background here or not part of me doesn't care that there's no back you know what i will say this i kind of wish there was a background so that way the white popped out a little bit more i think if matsubara if you would have put in a background here um when uh, takemaru sliced off um tetsu's legs i think it would have made it pop i do God, it would have really made that white from Kara's, like, feathers pop. Oh, it would have been great. And then it would have given more emphasis to the legs being chopped off. Ugh. Well, you know, what it, the calf slash foot being chopped off. You know what I mean. But, God, this background here, when Takamaru is warning them, is just... I can't wait to see these warriors. I cannot wait. What it really gives me is it it makes me think, okay, Matsubara, you got you are, are competing with a lot of good you're competing with Record of Ragnarok and you are competing with uh, war greedy witches when it comes to uh, when it comes to these kinds of uh, kinds of fights um, with uh, historical figures of the past. And ooh hoo, hoo. Especially war greedy witches. Oh God, you got his, and also drifters. I gotta include drifters and probably reincarnation no common in this com in conversation, but especially drifters. Oh God, Matubar, you got a lot to compete with in terms of art, because that those are that art is so all those artists that are so pretty. But yeah, I want to see, like, and especially in terms of strategy, I would love to see some shit. I want to see some drifter's realness up in here. I do. Because that's what this manga is probably... I'm just going to start comparing it all to drifters. I know I'm going to! Um, but yeah, I want to see some drifter's realness. Um, I want to see, like, a mix of drifters... Uh, Especially, like, with the color palette. Oh, my God. If I get that up in here, I will be stoked. I'd like to see, um, especially with the metaphorical art, like, War of Greedy Witches. Oh, my God. If I get that here. <gasps> oh, my God. If I get some War of Greedy, like, a little bit of War of Greedy uh, Witches realness up in here. <gasps> and a mix of War of Greedy Witches, Drifters, and Record of Ragnarok realness. Oh, my God. Oh my god, that would be fucking heaven. I will die and go to Valhalla and back if I get that. Holy shit, please give me this. Please. This is a great challenge for us so far. <laughs> this manga is everything.
exciting. I'm so excited for this. But also, like, when, um, God, this art is just so beautiful. I'm so happy with this art. I'm so happy with this art. I'm happy with the story as well. Oh, my God. But, yeah, this is definitely, in a way, it is definitely giving me Drifters meets Reincarnation No Cabin meets Record of Ragnarok meets, uh, um, wait. Meets War of Greedy Witches. There we go. It's giving me all of that. And I love it. I love it so much for this. But I want to also point something else out here. I want to make sure I'm right on this. Tetsu's eyes are very, very soulless. Are. I hope we get to see what fully went down in heaven. But I, oh god, this is so pretty. But does this mean... But also, are we going to find out then what the time stream is? Like the, how the flow of time works here? That's something else that's very, that's very, very curious. So, hmm. Very, very curiouser and curiouser, huh? So this has been, this is 10 years. But again, that's a, a great question. But how? How was he, Tetsu, um, not Tetsu. I mean, how was um, Takemaru summoned about Valhalla like this? What happened? Are we going to get this whole backstory? Uh, can we get this full backstory, please? Seriously. Am I glad that it's going this direction? Yes, I am very happy that it's going this direction. I'm glad that we are fighting to get that, um, that we're still fighting to get to um, Takemaru. Very happy about that. You know what I'm hoping that this is going to go in direction-wise? I'm hoping that this is going to be very uh, Kratos and uh, God of War realness. Yes, let's include Kratos in the mix up in here. Yes! Yes, yes. I am down with this too. I am down. I am down with this. So we got a mixture of God of War meets um, Record of Ragnarok meets uh, Drifters meets Reincarnation No Cabin meets Greedy War of Witches. Yes, that's exactly what I want to see from this. That's exactly what I want to see. That will work, and it will be beautiful if it goes this route. Matsubara, make this happen. Make this happen. I can't, and also, I can't wait to see what it's going to be like up in this tree. I hope we're going to hit, I hope, do I think we're going to hit hell? I, I don't know. But I, I hope we get to see, if, if we do go, go the God of War route, I hope we do get to see the gods, obviously. And I hope we get to see, Lo I hope we do get to see Loki and see Loki fuck with them, too. Oh my god, please do it! Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Zinc. If you love what I'm doing, I want to help keep this uh, channel alive and kicking so I can keep bringing you more um, Kuragani Nova Halloween content. A few ways you can do that. Donate to my cash app, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon uh Wish list all that's in the descri uh, description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, from me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.